hello hello family a wonderful day to one and all you know i want to just thank god for all my subscribers and for the persons that are watching that haven't subscribed i thank god for you you have encouraged me guys do you know that when i look at the analytics of this channel the majority of person that watches the channel they are not subscribed you know and i do hope that you will find it in your heart to be a part of the family by subscribing and share and even comment to let me help me along the journey you know commenting kind of help you to some extent to grow one way or the other i remembered something that happens to me many years ago and guys today is my birthday please wish me happy birthday thank you it's the 25th of january um 2024 and i'm grateful to be alive i'm grateful to be in my right mind i'm grateful for my family and for all the resources that god has bestowed upon me you know i am so grateful you know whether it's small or whether it's large it's such a blessing to just know that you can wake up and that there's a shelter over your head so what i remembered over the last couple of days and it keep coming in my head i just haven't gotten the time to share it with you guys and it's about forgiveness it's about forgiveness and many a times we we don't want to forgive because if we forgive we think that persons are going to be the same way or even worse you know are even worse because you can forgive persons but you don't have to actually um be friends with them because sometimes some seasons with some people are finished and you would reach to the place wherein that you forgive them. But it's just that you're not friends anymore. If that's the case that that person was a friend or it's just something that happens to you with someone that you just came in contact with. Like when I was going to cosmetology school in 04 you know r05 somewhere along the line there i've gotten an experience of a young lady that was in the building of where i went to school and she dealt with me harshly and so from that day on i just didn't deal with her then i wasn't a believer i wasn't yet committed my life totally to the lord and so certain things didn't came like it was an issue like not talking to someone didn't came like it was an issue i felt like i was securing a nice space for myself where i wouldn't get hurt and uh, as the years go by and uh, i end up get a place same place in that building to do my cosmetology work you know and uh, while I was there, she was there because she's actually a hairdresser and she was there at the, at the time. And where I have to go into my place, it would be that I would have to pass her doorway. And I remember being at home and I heard the Holy Spirit said to me that I have to, I have to forgive. Don't don't pass that lady one more time you know that was the saying i should not pass the lady one more time and not tell her good morning because i was on my journey of just of just holding on to a grudge and so many of us we hold on to grudges and we just want to tell off people we just want to not have nothing to do with them and I know that was the Lord that was speaking to me then. And he said, you're not going to pass her one more day unless you tell her good morning. And guys, when I came in that morning and I said good morning to the lady, the lady end up said to me, I got a dream about you last night. You see that nothing that God, one thing I've realized with God, every time he's doing something, he gives you a confirmation. He gives you a confirmation that is him doing it. So 
even I being on the channel and I will say something, look out for your confirmation, pray about it. Don't just, just take my word for it because there's always a confirmation to say that it is God that says whatever have been said. You know, take everything to the Lord in prayer. And the lady said, I got a dream about you last night. You know, and there goes, there was a change from then on. And by the time about one o'clock in the day, she came to me and she said, um, do you have anyone doing? And I said, no. And she said, okay, because I have, I cannot manage this client. So I'm going to give that client to you. Guys, I'm telling you this today about forgiveness because the lord has laid it on my heart over the last couple of days and as many a words that i have said i mainly pray about the things that comes in my spirit first before i just run out there and say anything and i've been just allowing this to marinate in my spirit to, to resonate in a way wherein i bring it to you i hope it bring some form of healing because as i said before forgiving people don't mean that you have to be friends with them it's just relieving yourself of that burden, that anger, that bitterness, you know, and moving on to that better land that God has chosen for you. You know, life is short and many a time the devil blinding our eyes to the shortness of life. And we move into that path that is not going to be of goodness to us. So today just take the time out to really look where you're at where you're coming from and trust the hand of the almighty god you know if i did not forgive her and say good morning and willing to move on then i would not gotten that blessing and it's it it goes even deeper to say that many a times we're standing in our own way you know we love it about the enemy the enemy do this and the enemy do that. But guys, many a times we are the enemy. The one that is looking at you in that mirror. That person. That person that you look on each day in the mirror. That person is the enemy. Is the enemy to you because many a times the decision that we make. And the things, the things that we do. It is becoming. It, it is, an, it is, it is an, a stumbling block to us. And God... One, a lot of time the Lord is showing us, you know, but we 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 are so preoccupied with what we're doing because we think that what we're doing is right, and so it's right in. Sometimes it's only right in our sight, nobody's else sight, God's sight, no one else sight. So I do hope that this brings you to that place of really looking at that person in the mirror from an inside perspective. Of analyzing where you're at what is it that you plug into because even when it comes to connection if you don't plug in right you cannot get a full charge you ever see you plug in your charger and the the USB card not plug into the right the right thing and you don't get a charge you think you have always you have that charger on say you're charging but when you look one part is severed it's not connected properly and so you don't get the fullness of what is to get where your phone is concerned i'm choosing a phone or a gadget because guys you love phone we all love phone and sometimes we are so distracted with it but think about it think about what i am actually saying forgive somebody you don't have to be them friend but just know that you have relieved yourself of that burden that they have hurt you and uh, you know you want to take it to your grave i pray that god's peace and the resurrection power the same spirit that raised jesus from the dead will move in your life on this day the 25th of january and create a healing that you need and a deliverance and may your spiritual eyes be open to see that you or i we don't always write sometimes we're wrong through the, for the whole month for the whole year we're so wrong but because we are blind we cannot see how wrong we are and so upon this day i just want to say hugs hugs to you guys and thanks for being there on the channel supporting what god is doing through me and uh, 
have a great one until we touch base again press pass the insults you cannot get the results you know without you pressing past the insults press past them sometimes they are hard and it's it's like walking through a mucky water and it's so thick and you can't hardly go but guess what determination perseverance and you will reach the other side because sometimes that journey is not too long to go through that path and so you press for it and let us enjoy this day it is the day that the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it. Peace and love.